restart it and type in your username and password and now that's ready to go so now you got you should have the ports forwarded which is the main part and you have the port 9000 typed into your software now what you need to do is you need to um oh and one other thing is um on some routers like see mine just had the name of the computer here so, some don't have this the name of the computer um you have to actually physically type in your ip address the local one like mine was 192.168.1.64 well if you don't know what that is you can go here to the start menu and you go to run and you type in cmd for like command and it brings up a, a dos window and you type in ip config and press enter and then it also will come up with your uh, your ip address ip address here and that's how you can find your uh, your uh, IP address for your computer. I think my IP addresses are different because I actually forward this for the uh, my uh, the other computer we have in the office. I think I selected the wrong computer. That's why they were different, but they should be the same numbers. Um, so w once those once those uh, the ports are forwarded and you set the software up, um, what you need to do then is to log in. You need to type in if you use the Internet Explorer, you need to type in your the HTTP part colon forward slash forward slash and then your IP address not your local IP address which would be like the 192 number but your static IP address which if you don't know what that is you can go to www.whatismyip.com and basically it says my IP address is 99 184.84.203 so what I would want to type in, if I want to log into the DVR remotely, would be this. Then you type in colon 9000. Press enter. And I'll, it's not logging in right now because I'm on the same network and I actually forwarded the wrong ports to the wrong computer, I think, on this demo. But... Um, if you guys want to see what it looks like once you do it correctly, uh, I can do it with the local IP address. I should be able to 192.168.1. May not work because I'm doing this demo on the same computer that I'm remotely logging in with. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I mean, I typed the local IP address because I'm on the same network, and like I said, I forward the wrong ports on the for the wrong computer. But um, basically, it comes up like this once you're trying to log in remotely. And so, what you need to do is you need to install the ActiveX controls. But what you need to do first is you need to go to Tools, Internet Options, go to Security Settings, press on, click on Custom Levels. You want to make sure your ActiveX controls. All, all these right here are either enabled or prompt. So that's enable, that's prompt. That one you want to switch to prompt. That one will switch to prompt. That one will switch to prompt. That's enabled. Okay, and then you go to where it says downloads. This is download, so you can just stop there. And then you say yes, you want to keep the settings. Okay, now you refresh the page. And you'll click install. And you go run. We'll run again and we refresh one more time okay so now we're basically at the login screen so we go type in admin and admin is the password and we're on a LAN I mean normally we WAN because you're remotely logged in but we're on the same network for this demo so for mine's a LAN and then I try to click connect I don't have any cameras hooked up, so that's why I'm not seeing the video. But um, if I had cameras hooked up, you'd see them on the screen right now. But you know, you're not. There's no cameras hooked up right now currently. But it should. When you log in, you should see all these little arrows. 
come on and it'll show you all your cameras on this right hand side like this and then it'll, you'll log in and you're you're good to go so um, that's basically it for the uh, demo on how to do the remote access um, there is a remote client software um, we'll do a separate video for the client software